this is me just really sitting back watching chapter one of all right we got the evidence that something happened now let's 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 go back and lay some significance let's lay some real significance to the fact that generations of people are living beyond the event whatever you want to call it slavery kidnapping there's a lot of people putting a lot of names on it but the truth of the matter is a lot of success when we get back to land we got a lot of evidence to success they didn't get bowled over with that highway or it didn't get shot up in the hood with a lot of my homeboys that didn't go it's a lot of intelligent people that don't have the opportunity to stand right here and i do and so you know if anybody ever wonder why i'm passionate about this it's because i lost a lot of friends in africa town in happy hill in plateau that don't get opportunity to see this found in Africa town in here that's where they stayed for about uh, uh, six eight months and uh, they didn't like living on the water because it would flood down here sometime and and uh, I think they went through a hurricane and I think they also fought a little bit with the people that were here and so they moved back up to the higher ground quote plateau and that's where they uh, established the town I'm from Africa Town. I grew up in what we know now as uh, Africa Town, but I knew it as Plateau. It was great. Uh, it, we had a family atmosphere. I had aunts, uncles. We had family gatherings at my grandmother's house, 4th of July, Christmas, Easter. And so coming back here, I have uh, resilient memories that take me back to when I was younger and we was running around with barbecue on our fingers, throwing fireworks in the air. So it feels good to be back home. My grandmother passed away in February of 2018. And so my initial seeing home was coming to a funeral. But I also saw that the, the neighborhood was a bit dilapidated and wasn't what I saw growing up. And so being what we do as sailors, uh, I said, we're gonna come back and do some volunteer work here. But what really made it amazing up to this point is the sailors that said, hey chief, we'll come over there with you and help you out. And so I've been able to see sailors come over here and do some amazing things that you can't make up. It's been a beautiful scene to see sailors in my hometown helping clean up and mentor kids, and it's been great. To have the commanding officer uh, kind of look me in my eyes the way he did yesterday and say, Chief, you know, this is a rich heritage. Uh, this is a successful heritage. And for them to be able to partner with and just continue to work because the work that they've done over the past almost year and a half has been phenomenal. I mean, the amount of houses that I've seen refurbished, the kite events where we are working with the kids and we get to build kites and to see the intag and the sailors come from the schoolhouse and do that, it's, it's, not, it's no greater feeling in the world to see that type of giving going on in the neighborhood you grew up in. Or oh, no, by the way, you're chief in the United States Navy. This is it, this is my high point. Members of my command yesterday, we actually got a very thorough history lesson on the significance of the community here in Africa Town. You know, Navy recruiters uh, from the schoolhouse here in Pensacola and members of my team here in Mobile have been partnering and volunteering with the Africa Town community over the last couple of years. So what I hope to take away from the events of today and this week is a stronger relationship that we can take forward from today and continue to build upon that relationship and continue to do a lot of great volunteer work for this community and help them get to where they'd like to see themselves in the future.
you know, we've seen this billion dollar impact in Montgomery for a museum about lynching. Well, lynching is, is one kind of story, but what about the story about these people who came here on this ship, who uh, were yanked from their homes, saw their families killed, uh, and then they're separated from everybody they know who survived in Africa. A hundred of them are peeled off and sent here. And somehow, after five years of slavery, they all came back together and they made a community that's still here today. So, you know, what I want for the ship is it to be an Africa town and Africa town become what it used to be. You know, I talked to all these people who lived there in the 50s and 60s and 70s and there were shops, there were restaurants, there was a community. And I think that's what it should be again. And if the ship can be the vehicle that gets them there, uh, hallelujah, I, I, I couldn't be happier. There, there is no other American ship that brought slaves to America that has ever been found. This is the only one. Out of 20,000 ships that were in the global slave trade, they found 13. And this is the only one that brought people to America. Uh, so it is, you know, it's an internationally important historic artifact. I mean, what more uplifting story out of slavery is there than people who resisted, fought back? This is a story to tell. You know, it's, it's all about resilience. Um, and, you know, now it can be all about reconciliation. Mm -hmm. These people survived all of this. I grew up in Africa town. It was times where I didn't know how far the mall was because I only lived in Happy Hill, period. Nothing went there. We had my grandmother that lived next door to the church who sold freezer cups to the neighborhood. That was our store. So when you go there and we, we take those rides around, that's not new. That's how I looked when I was growing up. The only difference is it was people there. Now I can tell the kids that I talk to now that I've been there because they want to hear that. They don't want to hear you talk about, oh, well, I heard about, no, nah, I've been there. Now let's talk about how you be successful. How do you take on these generations of success? Because these people went and founded a city right there. And to be here, I'm going to be honest, to be here and Master Chief know as a chief, to stand here and to walk up on the land of Peter Lee's property, who is the chief of that neighborhood, and to be able to say I'm standing there as a chief, I mean, he knows how huge that is. Because we know it ain't about us. Zero. Zero. It's hard for me to sit here and just, alright, fine, I'm here. That's cool, but zero of this is about us doing great stuff in the community just more off, off the fact of being a sailor that's what it's about so I'm, I'm chomping at the bits just to get back I can care less what type of adversity come at this point we good now I, I've been to where all right this is where it all happened at good we got closure now we don't just go back and pull up sunken ships just to say let's brag about what the evil people did we go there to get closure to say what happened that won't happen again. Guaranteed, those kids in that community will not lose. They got somebody that grew up in that neighborhood that can bear witness to, we've been there, let's go now. So I'm excited about it. Let's get it.